So let's talk about all types of mountain bike. Rigid mountain bikes have no suspension. There are rigid mountain bikes only for kids except fat bikes, just like this one. These tires are from 3.8 inches wide. There are three brands that make fat bikes with suspension at the front. Now let's talk about the different types of hardtails. Hardtail mountain bikes have sus only suspension at the front. Most people start mountain biking with hardtails. Hardtails are not so heavy and you can nearly take them everywhere. This is my heart toe and I usually go to pump tracks. There are some heart toes for special competitions. For example this one, this is a dirt jump bike. Another name for dirt jump bikes is slop style. There are competitions from slop style, style just like this one this bike is special for jumps and tricks like whips back flips and four flips front flips this is another hard tail called a cross country bike cross country bikes are special to go up mountains in a cross country race everyone starts at the same time just like a road bike race, but the only difference that they have different bikes and that it's in the mountains. Most of it is climbing, but there's also technical sections just like this one. Now let's talk about full suspension bikes. Full suspension mountain bikes have full as suspension at the front and at the back. There are also cross country bikes with full suspension. The suspension treble for adults is 100 mils to 120 mils, and for kids it's 80 mils to 100 mils. This is a trail bike. Trail bikes are longer than cross-country bikes and they are better at descending than cross-country bikes too. As they are called, they're really good at trail riding. Another word for trails is single track. There are also trail bikes that are hard tails but only for adults. The suspension travel for adults is between 120 mils and 150 mils. The suspension travel for kids is between 100 mils and 140 mils. This is a spawn mountain bike and I have the opportunity to try it out. This is an enduro bike. Another name for enduro bike is All Mountain. Enduro bikes are longer than trail bikes. They also have more travel. For example, for adults, it's 160 mil travel to 180 mil travel. For kids, it's 140 mil travel to 160 mil travel. Enduro races have different stages and it might take a couple of days to finish them. Enduro races have climbing bits and downhill sections. It can sometimes involve urban downhill sections. This is a downhill bike for kids. 
downhill bikes are longer than enduro bikes and also have more suspension travel. For adults, from 200 mil and for kids, from 180 mil. The head angle is very low and another word for low is slack. Downhill races go one at a time. That's exactly the same as enduro. The difference is that downhill races are only downhill and they're between two or five minutes. Downhill races are one of the most dangerous races in the mountain bike categories. I hope you enjoy my video. If you want to see the three best of roads, click there. And if you want to see me riding in Spain, click there. Bye, see you next time.